certainly doesn't seem right to me, Liz, I'm sorry you went through that. No, that's, I'm going to get back to the school board and ask them to figure out what it is they need. 6.30. My question. We will call the uh, meeting to order of uh, August 13th select board meeting. First order of business is uh, the August 6th minutes, and I didn't get a chance to read them today, I'm sorry. So I did. You most certainly did. No, I did not have a chance to read them today. Okay. But you, you made edits to them. I did not make any edits. Yes, you did. To August 6th? Yeah. I did the week before. I didn't do anything just today. I didn't go into them. I promise. Well, well can wait. we do August 6th? <coughs> huh? Can we do August 6th? We hadn't done that yet, right? August 6th was last week, so we're going to table them until next week so I have a chance oh. to read them. Which one did he do? July 23rd. Oh. Are we the only one behind? I thought we were. We're not behind at all. No. I thought we were. No. The one now we're we are. We will okay. be after tonight because I didn't have a chance to read them today. Uh, community input. I wanted to talk about something that happened um, with the town employee, and I don't know if that is like open the session, closed session, whatever. So I'll give you a minute to think about that. Depends on what you want to talk about, I suppose. If, if it, it's a if the employee, is the employee here to defend him or herself? I don't know who it's about. So it's my no, I, don't, I only no. see one. And, so I don't yeah. want to call him out. It's not about him. Okay. So, so then, why don't we do this? Is it a complaint? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we're going to do it in non-public session. Okay. It, it could have an uh, impact on his or her reputation, whatever. Yep. So That's we will problem. go. Um, uh, motion to go into non-public. Or personnel or issue. Personnel I'll issue. second that. And we'll have to do a roll, roll call. Denise. Yes. Mike. Yes. We're in non-public session to deal with the personnel issue. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Any other uh, select board came out, out of an on public session at 7.52. Uh, is there any other uh, committee input? Seeing none. Huh? 6.52. What did I say? I said 6.52. Oh, I'm, I'm accelerated yeah. time. I'm sorry. 6.52. You're absolutely right. Fast track. We've done tonight. Okay. <laughs> Two purchase orders. The first is number 1459, made out to U Hall to install a point receiver and a quick connect wiring on the new vehicle so we can have a vehicle okay. not tow the utility trailer yeah, sure. and the message board sign. Yeah. And that is $354.90, and that will come out of the equipment account. Okay. Can I just like submit it? Or do I have to repeat it? Uh, I would just read the, right. the, the person over number right. and who was doing it in the month. PO1459. You call for 354.90. A uh, second. Okay. So that, I'm sorry, it was coming out of where, Chief? Equipment account. Equipment account, okay. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. What's today? 13. Today's 13? Yep. Purchase order number 1454, the two-way communications to install the e-ticket system in Cruiser 72 and 73. Um, I've got $500 here, but it's probably going to be more around $400, but in case they find something wrong. So if I've no more than $500, and that will also come out of the equipment line item. This was an e-ticket. I'll, I'll let you move it first, okay. and then we'll talk about it. Oh, sorry. I move purchase order 1454 for two-way communication for install the e-ticket system. $500. Second. This e ticket. Go ahead, you can ask your questions first. E ticket is the, uh, the equipment that we get from the state. Um, we got two last year. So the officers, uh, they have to scan in the car now, so they just scan your license, and I'll make it, prints off the ticket, and it shoots it up to Concord right away, and shoots it out to uh, the, the court and whatnot. So uh, they have the officers handwriting tickets in the future, it's a dimension. So. Maybe it would be. <laughs> so you, can actually, <laughs> so you can actually see what it says. And it doesn't get lost, no, in, the, doesn't get lost in the mail on the way to Concord, right? All the wonderful uh, things that could have happened. Uh, and this was an anticipated expect. So, yeah. 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 Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Yeah, not much of a defense if uh, you can actually read the ticket, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not filled out wrong. Well, of course, the rules are officers are human. They can make mistakes on the ticket, so. <laughs> Plus, it's not a proof.
crucial one. Right. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this a couple weeks ago I was here, but we did take possession of the new car, and it's that two-way uh, getting equipment installed now. So we anticipate maybe getting back Friday or next week. Okay, great. So we saw the new piece of equipment over here. Now that I exactly see where it goes, that shouldn't be an issue with snow. The no. air conditioning. No, no, no that, that should be all set. Yeah, no right. issues whatsoever. Should be well protected there, I would think. Yeah, yeah. It's blowing out the back from everything. Uh, that's all that I had. Anything for me? Well, oh, go, go ahead. Um, uh, did you have something? I do, unfortunately. Go ahead. So, um, budgeting. We have um, found that we may be deficient in one other line or for insurance, um, which affects all the departments, as for like health insurance. Um, we may need to find an additional three thousand dollars. So just is that a total or be forewarned. Per department? Not per department. Oh, okay, so <laughs> be forewarned. That's all I'm for the, I want to repeat it. So it goes across all, all the departments. Well, I just so. gave you twenty five thousand. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> So, I'm, I'm sure it could be worked out simply, so, yeah. Okay, just yeah. want to give everyone a heads up. But sure. that's all I had. Uh, <laughs> okay. I just all the great news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got a news. Um, you know, I just want to know, what is our next plan with um, the police station? I know that um, I, I've driven around town. I, I can't find a whole lot of land. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do now. As well, I, mean, I think we should have a meeting. didn't really discuss you know, it. And say, that's hey, what I'm thinking, too. Are we done as a committee? And they let the select board do something, or should we investigate a little bit further to see what, what needs to be done? Okay. Um, so. Do you know, would you have an... Um, I don't have any magic five-acre parcel of land either, so... <laughs> so if I did, I would have already built up my own house, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, but, it's really, because we wanted to stay in, well, in the, on this side of report. I'm assuming, okay. Of course, yes. yeah. yeah. Okay. And your contact on that land that you might have tried to do a... I years. stopped by the house. Uh, this person does not have an answering machine, believe it or not. And I stopped by the house twice last week and they were out. Okay. Um, I've also spoken to a. Uh, I'll mention that at meeting. Okay. Okay. Here, so. okay. Gonna That's okay. Meeting, then, I'm going to set yeah. up another meeting. Okay. 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 Perfect. All right. Because okay. right. okay. we just need to do something quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will take care of it. Okay. All right. Perfect. Uh, All right. Thank you. All right. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Seen you in a while. Is it a good or bad thing? <laughs> it's a good thing. I don't know. I've seen you not too long ago. Uh, just one order of business. Um, I have a copy of this for each of you. The fire department is going to receive an award. Oh, nice. Congratulations. That's yeah, a state annual, as it says, the awards. Oh, basically. sure, yeah. So, it's great. Yeah. It's in September, so we will be headed down there. Um, there's four members of us that have so, participated in this particular call. Oh, so I was going to ask you, what was the... Um, well, the they are very vague about it. And okay. I kind of have an inside scoop as to what it was. Okay. Is we, it was a mutual aid response in the city of Dover. Uh -huh. It was back in November. It was for a woman that had scaled out on the General Sullivan Bridge and was threatening to jump into a oh, group. Yeah. So we went there as a mutual aid response, and our members got involved in some of the rope rescue needs that uh -huh. they had to do and some of the other support functions on scene. Um, even though it doesn't say that in the letter, I had a discussion with Assistant Chief Haas over there, and he kind of said that that's probably what's going to happen. So because of our involvement and the abilities of our personnel, we've been chosen to also receive the award. I was going to say, I think we both would really like to be there. It's a Monday night. It's a Monday night. So it's I, a Monday night. I apologize for that, that we won't be able to be there. But yeah. Although we can't always cancel a meeting, right? Yeah, like two of us, but um, it's one of us is right. only one out of a meeting right now. This will be my fourth trip for this type of event there. Yeah. Uh, I was there twice for City of Dover for life saving rescues that I was participating in. The town of Rollins for Fire Department also got one of these uh, four years ago in the, the, in the Miami. Yeah. Part. Yeah. So. I'm not new to this. This is kind of getting. Well, I'm sorry that we can't. I don't be want there. to say you, you should be there. You it, should be there to help honor you. But it's, I'm sorry it's, we a, can't. it's a pretty big show, and, and they yeah. do it well. And it's just not for the members that are going to get, you know, with this one. But they go through a series of four or five different awards, and it's uh, it's very formal on how they want the presentations done and whatnot. So um, 
it'll be enlightening to some of our members because I think a lot of the members are going to go mm -hmm. in support of the uh, great. of the one involved. So, with that being said and, and shown, with that what's coming up is um, some of the members needed to update some of their uniform components because you have to wear a class A uniform sure. to participate in this event. So. Mm -hmm. um, some of them have already gone, and we needed to get some other updated information, so uh, components to people's gear and, and uniforms and whatnot. So I have a purchase order, um, number 1434, the Huntress uniforms, and it's for like six or seven guys that need various components to get things done, okay. updated. So, um, like I said, some of them are getting uh, new uh, jackets and whatnot. So. With all the needs and what we've got going on, this will come out of the uniform line, mm -hmm. which is plenty of money still in our account, to Huntress for $750 for all the needed uniform upgrades for this event. Okay, purchase order 1434. Is that not to exceed $750? Correct. Not to exceed $750 for department uniform needs, coming out of the uniform account for Huntress uniforms. It probably will be less, but that's why I didn't use that. So, um, so what does the, the raw ones for the fire department's class A uniform look like? Same as anybody else's. So yeah. like, it's a, a double breasted black jacket. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a black double breasted. Uh, we've got slacks and polished shoes. And, and we, and provide all, we provide all the pieces of the. No, actually, what's happening with this right here and some of this. I'm not opposed to it. No, no, I'll, I'll be totally open. Two of the members um, need class A. Okay. And because we're all chosen in this, this we're splitting it. It's going to be four sixty for them. The partner will pay forty percent. Okay. Well, that's okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not footing the whole bill. Oh, well, I, I wasn't we're, sure. We're I mean, close to twelve hundred dollars. I am. Um, I'm, like, yeah, I'm sure they're very expensive, though, mm -hmm. and I. Yeah, they're close to. I figure for people that put their lives on the line. With all the components, you, you need the belt cap, you need the shirt, sure. you need the coat, you need the pants, you need the shoes, you need the belt, you need the hardware, you need the brass, and you need the, everything. Just boom, 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 and start looking at the prices and whatnot. So I had a discussion with the members, and I said the department will pay 40 percent, which is you know a fair amount for them. Not so the city of Dover, did they provide your uniform? Yes. Okay, everything. Yes, it was provided. Most right. career departments do that. Yeah. Right. No, I'm just wondering. I'm just, so this is just another thing. I want people to recognize that not only are these people risking their lives potentially for us, they're also paying for the majority of their uniforms. Yes, they are. So I mean, I, I think that we should recognize that too. I just I, yeah. really. Yeah. I, just, they are paying. I, mean, well, I think it's generous that they pay all of it because so. this is a special event. That's the only reason that I yeah. kind of made that. So I, right. so I, I just I want to make it sure yeah. it, I understand it. So. Yeah. so it, I've never heard of this company. Are they cheaper than Ben's or the one in Maine? They are? Okay. The Manchester. Yeah, we've used no. them before. They came here and we've stayed with them. Okay. Uh, the same comparable thing at Ben's. These, what these guys are getting is roughly in the 480 range. Mm -hmm. Ben's is over $600. Yeah, that's what we pay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. That's probably yeah. twice. <laughs> yeah, it's probably even more than that now. Yeah. So we've kind of shied away from Ben's. Yeah. This guy's been doing this now for like five years. and He's kind of an upstart, but he's... He's got the Manchester contract and some in Bedford, some of the local around there because he came out and reached out to us. I just want to keep throwing the business sure. his way. No, that's and good he treats to know. us he treats us well. So okay. there's okay. some savings involved in dealing with that that And there's enough yeah. money in the uniform line, you said no problem there. Yes, there is. There's plenty still left over. Uh, just what I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> you may have heard about insurance costs. Uh, uh, yeah. Overruns. Okay. Um, any other discussion? Okay, all those in favor, say aye. Aye. Aye, opposed? All right. Again, please make sure you tell the members of your department how sorry we are we can't be there. But I really would like to be there. Along. Watch, the channel, watch the channel nine news because I'm sure will be there. Oh. It's on there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's on there. One sheet taken, one sheet taken. Sorry. In a big way. Can I have so. a signature? Any, um... Oh, fireworks. Mm -hmm. Anything else for us tonight, or...? No, I guess the only question, the other question I have is, I understand now you need to come up with money for insurance. So what are you looking to? Maybe well, looking to go, boom, 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 the three departments, or, or how are you looking to do? No, it? I think what I've asked Caroline to do when she uh, let me know about this this morning, so I wanted to take a look at um, the actual um, expenses, expenditures up to date, and and look um, look where.
where she thinks there might be some movement, and then I'm going to come to the department and have a conversation with you, because I don't want you to. If you have plans, and obviously I'm not going to say you've got money in your hose line, we're going to we're going to take your hose money, because I do understand that you plan towards the end of the year and yeah. buy these things strategically. I get that. So um, I'm going to have a couple with a couple of suggestions for us, and then I can bring to you and to the chief. And to George has already um, agreed to some money for um, other projects that happened mm -hmm. on the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, no, that's fine. I, so I, I don't know if there's any we'll see there still, but there's an issue within, but, within the budget. Okay, I just, but I want to give you all a heads up. Yep. I don't oh, want to spring this on you. So. Appreciate that. I know you do all a great job trying to manage your budget. So. I don't understand how I do mine anyway. It's kind of some of it's front loaded, but most of it's you know, we get it in the end yeah. to make sure that they don't have issues yeah. that I can't be prepared for. Yeah. Can I ask a procedure? We under budgeted apparently. I, I, anyways, I'm learning all about different spreadsheets that we have. When this is a not to exceed, and he's giving it to me now to give to Caroline. Are you going to be bringing the, the invoice after the fact to her and max it up? That's all I need to know. Yep. So we're authorizing to spend not more than authorizing to send. So we're you're going in there. They're going to charge it, and then they're going to turn around and bill. The two. Okay. That's all I need to know. Because sometimes you have invoices already. Yeah. Sometimes okay. I do. Okay. This one here because they went and got measured, and these aren't going to be ready for a few weeks. Okay. Okay. I wanted to submit this now, so we can see what they don't like that. No problem. Just wanted to make sure. I yep. Did. You're right. Yeah. A lot of times I come in and know exactly what I'm up. Exactly. This one is still, you know, what yep. components everybody needs. And okay. Some of that pricing still to get done. So. All right. Yeah. That's all I got. Well, thank That's you it. very much. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Have a quiet rest of your evening. Yes. Thank, <laughs> thank you. All right. Next we have town administration. Unless I miss someone coming in. Okay. Town administration. Town hall portico. I want to leave. Oh, sorry. Select board vacancy. I skipped right over that. The notice has gone out. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I asked Caroline. We haven't received anything. I didn't get anything. I haven't had a procedure mm -hmm. call or anything. No. Um, so, here's open. <laughs> Someone would like to help out. I would much appreciate it. Um, budgets, town hall maintenance portico. I am waiting to hear back uh, from another source. I have a sneaking suspicion that um, given some of the budgetary constraints that we're discovering, we may or may not have money for it. So, but again, we need to get the right the right estimate, a transition plan, um, in light of the news that I received today about not budgeting enough for the actual cost of insurance, mm -hmm. I'd like to wait another week if we could. Mm -hmm. right. I don't like to, I'm not trying to pass the buck because I mean, there's no way to pass it, <laughs> but we, um, I, I think until we get a, a real handle on that, I, we shouldn't be spending anything else on anything. So. Mm -hmm. um, residence tax, uh, budget for budget prep. Inventories uh, for July, August dates, and so when the state sends request to print them. So we need to, so by budget time, we need to decide whether or not we're going to keep the residence tax. Um, <coughs> in inventories, we need to let the state know as soon as they let us know whether or not we want to print them, which should be by the end of this month. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are. I know my thought, at least for right now, the inventories are useless. If we're not getting any inf information from them. Where I also found out we have to keep them forever. <laughs> we're not allowed to get rid of them. So if you go upstairs, um, there are several, 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 several boxes up in where are we? the room right above us, uh, stacked almost to the ceiling. Um, those are inventories <laughs> that we have to keep um, yeah, forever, according to the state. So. If we're not doing anything with these things, I think we need to reprioritize and, and, and figure out where we're going to get that revenue from because I think it's a waste of time. And all you're doing is penalizing people because they forgot to send in a piece of paper, and I, which is inconsequential to me if we're not actually doing anything with it. It'd be one thing if we were actually using these things for something, we are penalizing someone for not sending you a, a useless piece of paper. Not you, I don't mean, I mean, us, mm -hmm. we are. So that's where I'm coming from. But I guess I'm okay with the the um, um, inventory thing mm -hmm. because I I kind of agree, and we're only getting the revenue because someone has made an, an error, and mm -hmm. it isn't it isn't a guarantee that you're going to have that revenue no. if everyone turned them no. in. That's people have to remember. 
Um, so I'm prepared to go forward with the um, the inventory to just stop that. Okay. Um, I'm not convinced 100% on the um, yeah. on the residence tax yet, though. Yeah, I, I haven't come oh, I haven't come around on that one yet either. So, yeah. so if you have and if I had, it doesn't matter anyway. It's because it's not happening. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we agree on the other one. So. Well, we can make. I'll make a motion that we cease. The inventories. We cease to um, to do the inventories um, effective. Well, I, it would be good because next time. Twenty nineteen, right? Well, okay. no, we. I don't want to do twenty nineteen, so we're we're going to stop them immediately. Right, because the other ones are already done. Yeah. So I'll make motion because then you you don't want nineteen to come in. Right. So. Right. So. Let me just think about it for a second. Make sure that's how we want to do it. I don't want to, so we're planning on doing away with it moving forward, right? We agree on that. Yes. Uh, so it's, the next time they would be due would be April 15th of 2019. Correct. So I want to make sure if there, if there are folks that didn't pass the turn of them in this year, um, some have already paid their penalty, some people haven't maybe. Correct. So I don't want to, I don't want to penalize the folks that already paid <laughs> and the folks that may not have paid yet. So I, I need to figure out, we need to figure out whether or not we will just suspend them for the upcoming tax year. I think is probably the best way to do it. That way we don't jeopardize any uh, any revenue that still may be coming in for this year. We're gonna, we're going to, we're going to not pursue 2019 inventories. Not 2000, 2019. Yeah. So, because they have to be ordered this month. Right. So, so we're not going to pursue um, continuing to do inventories for 2019's year. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. Okay. All those in favor? I was going to talk about some more. Sorry. No. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I oppose no. Okay. The ayes have it. We will suspend or uh, eliminate rather the use of um, uh, state. Um, State property inventories mm -hmm. beginning with the 2019 tax season. Okay. All right. Okay. So there's that, and we will table the um, the residence tax portion until a date uncertain. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Concom fund management. Uh, I had Carolyn leave this on here as a placeholder. Um, the treasurer Vern and I. And Caroline met last um, Tuesday, I think it was, um, and he is reaching out to citizens and reaching out to the um, former chair of the Conservation Commission, who um, I think I heard today, Vern heard back from the bank that he was the only signator, the former chair. There was no one else. So like the treasurer, no one had any sort of oversight okay. over this fund. So. The savings count that is. So that's not a good practice. Mm -hmm. um, so Burns, uh, the treasurer's in the, in the in the midst of trying to rectify this with the bank. So I saw his us, so. I saw his one email to them. Um, yeah. Looking for. I guess they called him. They didn't email oh, okay. back. So okay. Is my understanding. So we're still working on it, but so I wanted to leave that on as a placeholder for now because um, okay. it hasn't been. Finalized yet? Yeah, a transfer station revised ordinance. We have a hearing next uh, Monday night at 6 p.m. right here. Uh, the table with a smoking ordinance uh, on town property. I think mostly the transfer station. Um, unless you want to discuss it tonight, I don't think I'm not prepared to present anything. So, mm -hmm. okay, and I'm happy to table that. I, I actually just love John as a placeholder. I don't want to lose sight of it, but. Mm -hmm. Recreation. I have budget update, but unless it's something that might be other things I'm talking about too. But um, really, not gonna. I probably don't have anything more than what I said last week. Um, I, I'm, there's a whole bunch of bills in here to pay. So um, what I received from D, um, I don't know if it will contain all of these invoices that I just signed. Okay. It's all the transportation invoices. Okay. So um, I I think I want to wait until. These get in and have a conversation with Caroline, and then we can kind of go over and tell, okay. give you so a review of that. Um, we we are going to be over. We're yeah. Budgeted. We will we will be over. We'll be in the red. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I told you that a couple of times.
Suzanne didn't get that either when I said that. No, 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 I know, I know you've oh, been saying it. I just want to make yeah. sure I understand what you're saying now. Oh, yeah. No, no, I get it. So uh, definitely they will be, be over budget. Trip. Okay, I yeah. get um, well, One of them was going to be over and one was going to be under, right? Right, right, but the still? net of it is probably about two grand. It's two grand over. Yeah, or short. Depending on your, short. Or depending on your perspective. Yeah. Um, oh, team okay. was team was positive and um, Camp Raleigh was in the negative, and so well, you well, that's the funny, two of it was them. the other way around for the longest time. Oh, team's been well. Yeah, they had a lot of extra at the end of or because mm -hmm. it remained open for longer than Raleigh did, so they got more people um, signed up. But yeah. uh, so they're kind of putting buses on, um, gotcha. even though you net them and they're gonna they're gonna be yeah. together. Um, they want to kind of see where it falls. And but, this um, the last week, right? So. Yes, yeah. And so, um, yeah. And then we're going to meet next Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Tuesday. The 21st. Um, the 21st. We're going to have our, our meeting. Okay. And kind of just really go over what went good, what went bad, and what can we do better next bad year. So. spending over your budget. Yep, that, that's going to be one of my things. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, okay. but, uh, all in all, I think it was a positive experience. Is Caroline going to be part of that conversation, did you say? She's not on the committee. Okay. So um, you'll, you'll let her know as soon as... I would like her to be as, there. As I soon as, well, you let her know as soon as you can about what the dollar amount is. Just email, so we can I want to the I want her to total. get what they have and they okay. see what she has. And, and okay. So Dee and her work closely together with okay. Dean, um, Nehawk. Nehawk. Um, are working close together all the time. Okay. So they are. So she they is totally the in the loop of where okay. we think we are, and she is. So. Okay. Well, I just found out about a under um, estimate for insurance. Apparently, that wasn't based on on actuals from the year before. So. You mean rep? No, no, no. Uh, oh, insurance. just in general. So, oh, okay, okay. So this just sort of adds to my anxiety. So. Yep. Yep. No, but she's been kept. She's been kept on the total loop. Okay. Maybe even with me or D. So. Okay. Um, also, though, you know, while we're, we're, well, we're talking about budget things, mm -hmm. I should have added on the top, I'm sorry. Um, we, we, may, we may be okay because we, we may have actually, when we revised the budget three weeks ago now, maybe, um, with um, Town Hall Electrical, I'll be interested to see what the, the fixes uh, with Bob had done with the, the with air conditioning, the, yeah. what that may or may not have done to it. So. Uh, unfortunately, you're on the downside of AC and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it should go down anyway. Right. So we well, don't exactly. Really know what right. The, I mean, the true so, picture is. So it may not be all doom and gloom, but we won't know for mm -hmm. a while longer. But so stay tuned, I guess. Um, okay, so we will hold off on the rest of rec until after your, your next Tuesday meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, Finally, plans for the planning board. Um, we had talked about, we did talk about this last week when the, when the tax collector was in. I did have a conversation with her, though, uh, and she's willing to um, to go back to filing plans um, for the planning board, mm -hmm. you know, which she had been doing for a while, um, and then uh, uh, stopped. But she's willing to do it again. So I was going to work out the details tomorrow night with the planning board. Okay. If, as long as we're okay, because she's our employee, with mm -hmm. her doing that. Uh, it would, all the costs would be offset by it. That people have to file, so there shouldn't be any cost to the town. Um, but we just got to figure out the details about when she would go and that sort of thing. It would be as needed, it wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. So we don't have too many plans to file, but as long as we're okay with that mm -hmm. as her employer. So. And I will have more of an update next week on that one, so we'll keep it on the calendar, or the agenda rather. Uh, Shady Lane, what is that? Shady Lane upgrade. Um, I ran into the owner of, of um, it's not the 110 Rollins Road, um, who got a subdivision approval pending um, certain um, qualifications met uh, from the planning board. And one of them is um, having to upgrade um, Shady Lane um, to the standards of the select board approved. So um, I'm going to be working with Tom to, um, what I would like to see happen is have the owner come in and have Tom come in, Tom Clark, that night mm -hmm. so we can, we can discuss and then what needs to, be ha what ha needs to happen. Um, we would have to give formal approval as a select board because it's, our, it's a town's road mm -hmm. uh, to do any improvements on our road. Um, so we would need to do that. And what I'd like to have
have some sort of written agreement so we understand so there's no miscommunication. Mm -hmm. So there has been a lot of miscommunication with this project. Um, so it would be in black and white, this is what has to happen and it will have to be approved and certified by the town's engineer, mm -hmm. which is typically we contract with them. Civil Works, I think that's what they're called, over in South Rock. Mm -hmm. um, they come out and they certify that it is up to our standards. Mm -hmm. um, but so that's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. Um, this didn't happen beforehand? What's that? This, all these <laughs> negotiations you, weren't done we, when he first was coming in? Well, you can't because you had, there, there had to be, you had to go through the, the, the planning process first. Um, and ultimately, in the end, I mean, it's a crapshoot. I mean, it really is. The, the select board does, even if the, the planning board and zoning board give approval, and it's on the class six road, we can still say, no, nah, we're not signing a building permit, so you're out of luck. Um, I don't think that, I mean, that would be done for, well, it would be done for any reason, but mostly for, like, safety reasons. Like, you can't get a fire truck or an ambulance or a police cruiser, like, you've got this huge incliner, you know. Mm -hmm. Huge ditch or something they're going through. This is uh, not that far in, but I think of I think of the, on Skeleton Road, the the house that's down there. It's so far in that if if the person that has that property now were coming to us, I can't imagine we would say yes to a building permit because it's so far in the woods. Mm -hmm. um, this doesn't seem to be the case. We had someone in two weeks ago. Now was it now? Was it two, three weeks ago that were? Um, I, I don't know if I'd have to go and look at that property, but I, I don't know. That could be the same situation as Skeleton Road. I don't know. Um, you mean the one off of um, Fresh Creek and that word? Bear Road? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that could be the same situation as like uh, the Vermont property down here on Skeleton Road, like way in the woods. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't walked it to look at it. So, but this is, those are some of the reasons you could just say no. I mean, you could still go through this entire process. Know if this project is necessarily that, but we still we won't know until the road is um, it's taken care of. So, but anyway, so that's coming. Okay. I just want to, uh, to be aware of that, and I want Tom to be here as part of that process because I don't want any misunderstandings. Okay. I want, <laughs> like I said, there have been a number of misunderstandings. Um, people just not connecting the dots, I guess, uh, sometimes on this on this project. So. I don't want that to happen again. All right, transfer station post closure report. It's not another report. It's still there apparently. <laughs> no one dug it up. Um, so we're trying to. <laughs> uh, we'll give a brief update. We're trying to reconnect with um, the person that now is saying that we have to do this because Caroline has talked to two different people now at DES um, and have gotten two different answers. So we're kind of back at the drawing board again. Okay. That's why I want it left on there. There's nothing new to report, but I don't want to lose sight of it. Um, town administration, standing items, board member activities. What do we have going on this week? Nothing. Nothing? You're lucky. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. <laughs> I've got planning board tomorrow night, so um, we'll be here at 7 o'clock. And we've got several things on the agenda, so it should be interesting. Building permits. I think there are a couple in here. Mr. Clark has reviewed them. Permit 2018-080 is for $125. Okay. $125, sorry. I figured it's easier for your notes, but I just yeah. at least read the number and how much it is. Uh, the second is 2018-081, and it's $275. Also reviewed by Mr. Clark. Did I click off, or did you check it? Should make sure I checked off permit granted, please. <laughs> Poor people. Got it. Thank you. I put the expiration date on there, but not. Um, uh. It expires eight thirteen of eighteen. Nope, it doesn't. Yes, it does, according to the. <laughs> it 
does not. I promise you. Gotta get done quick. You have until midnight. No, sorry. Thank you, Denise. It's gonna expire on June 30th, 2019. Okay. We usually give them a year. Or thereabouts. A little less in this case, but they can get an extension if they need to. And you got the second one, Salman? And they only have a thing, whoa, what do we have in here? Current use applications. Please sign, sign all it. eight sign applications. Sign it. Yes. Yes. Oh, quick. I scribbled. Thank you. Ooh, huh? Thank you. Okay, so uh, Chatter reviewed and approved the attached current use applications. Please sign all eight applications on page two, step seven, so they can be recorded. And Andrea has been kind enough to make sure I don't screw it up and I put the little sign it here stickers. Nice of her. I'll do my best not to screw it up. Okay, the first is um, um, 46 Old, I believe the name of the, 46 Old Mill Lane. Step seven, there it is. And it's, uh, what's that, 25 acres, so that certainly qualifies. And we all have to sign it? Yeah, we have to sign it. Uh, the next is oh, it's a, it doesn't have an actual, it's off, it just says off of uh, River Road, it's a uh, Southeast Land Trust, so it's, it does not have a, um, it doesn't have a, uh, an actual street address, so it has the parcel and everything. So I'll make a note of that. So I guess on your notes. Uh, the next is twenty seven Scout Lane Road. Oh, I didn't read to the number. How, how many acres is it, just for the record? Uh, it's on the second page, I think. It could be on the first page, but I think Acres in parcel is 72.73. But we can put in the current uses on the back there. 23.34. So okay, just for the record. Now. Okay. And the next one, what I, it was 27 Scoutland Road, and it is 16 acres going into current use. Next is uh, 161 Clement Road. I'm reading the map, right? Sorry, 202 acres. And Clement Road? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's like, where? Oh, yeah, you can see the map. Huh? See where it is. So. And we have, oh, we're getting to the corner, to the end here. I only got a couple more. I'm going to lie to the three and four more. Uh, 161 Clement Road. Another one? Yeah. Uh, 15.33 acres.
So sell me for that last one, mm -hmm. just so we have, because the same address. It's 161 Rollins Road is the owner's address. But it's, um, so the first one that we just did is map one, lot 73. That's the 202 acres. Okay. Uh, did I just do another one? Did I just hand it to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. For 161? Yep. Or that's different, or a different number. Is it 161? Where's the number? On the front there. Yeah, street that's, address. that's one. Oh, oh 161 Clement Road. Yeah. What's, what's, the, Corner what's the map and lot number? Is it on the front? Does it say map one lot and step two? Map one lot 67. Okay, 67. Because I've got one more. <laughs> like, okay. I've read this number before. Okay, so 161 Clement Road, um, map 1, lot 65, and it is uh, 22 acres. This address before 161 Clement Road. It's map one lot um, 65 3, which is part of lot 65, but subdivided out. And that is um, 33 acres. Last one. And it is 132 Clement Road. Oh, Clement Road is, uh, I mean, current use here. Um, and we have, they didn't add it all together, did they? Give me a second, because there's like fractions of, uh, of lots. I'll just make sure we get the correct number all together. If I can't write down the right date, clearly I can't add numbers. Twenty six point oh nine acres. And that's the last one. the cost sharing agreement for the current repaving of a portion of Oak Street that forms part of the boundary between our communities and to also solicit feedback for renewal of the attached winter road maintenance agreement yes. which is attached. Yes, so last Wednesday or Thursday, I don't remember what day it was now, sorry. Um, George and I went over and met with uh, Dover. I skipped over because it was under highway here and uh, we have to go back up. There's two things we skipped in highway, actually. I apologize. So the Oak, Oak Street paving, as we had agreed to in principle, to do half of a, uh, it's going to be a, um, a shim overlay that they anticipate will last about five years. It will cost about $12,000. They don't want to do the entire, for our portion, they don't want to do 
entire recline, which we can't afford anyways, mm -hmm. because they're going to do bridge work mm -hmm. and they have to tear up most of on either end of the paving and they have to do drainage and all this. They didn't want to do all that, spend all that money and mm -hmm. tear it out, which makes sense to me. So is it both sides of the bridge? Is it both sides? We'll get the overlay? Yes. The entire road. The from, entire road. Okay. From I was confused by that. Broadway to Portland now. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, we're going to operate under the the winter MOU um, for the time being. He has sent us, Mr. Storer, uh, sent us a copy of it. Mm -hmm. um, what he suggested was if there are things that we would like to add to it, we'll work with George. Mm -hmm. um, to make sure, it's not just winter, there are a number of things mm -hmm. on there actually, mm -hmm. um, just a temporary MOU. If there are things that we want added, let him know, write it in there, um, and he will have his city attorney draft, redraft it so we don't have to pay legal expenses to have it drafted. How come we don't have his signature on this? Oh, what is it? His signature, city manager of Dover, city of Dover. I have my hand. Okay. It's agreement between the two that the only signature It could have been his Rollins copy. Or, Okay. We well, he's just making a he's copy and sending a, it to us. We had a copy. Yeah, no, no, so we should we have had a copy that was there. signed <laughs> by him because we had it in our files. But, okay. but that's what that's about. Okay. So, so do we have to do anything on this? Okay. Uh, well, we do. I, we, I want. Can you just put a note to Caroline that um, um, have um, Mike and George work on MOU? If the kids have anything he wants to have added to it, we will do that so we don't have to pay the legal fees. Um, they are expecting to do paving there either this week or next week, and they will give us a heads up so we can let the residents know. M O U? M O U. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, but it was a very productive meeting. They were very helpful. In fact, we talked a little bit about the railroads, <laughs> um, dealing with the, the trust, the, um, like the crossing up on Church Street. They gave George some good contacts to talk to for, oh, region, good. for regional people. So. Good. They wish us all the luck in the world because they don't think we'll be very successful with them, which, whatever, but it was nice that they had, you know, actual people to talk to, so. Hopefully we never. They only say that because they haven't had much luck with them, yeah. but. Um. I thought you signed this already. This is the. Oh, this is the, this is the other thing that's on the agenda. This is the Massey letter? Yes. We didn't because you had an edit. So if we're ready to send it out. It's the, just, it's the it, same. It wasn't the edit wasn't done, but another word was added to make that word okay. Okay, so we yeah, did really so, yeah, yeah, Okay. And also, asking Mr. Massey to uh, not use the transfer station and to return his uh, permit. So when I asked the, uh, I asked the town clerk another uh, follow-up question, and she said that the only out-of-town permit that she has issued was to Mr. Massey. So. Yeah. So that kind of makes a little more sense to me why we would send a letter. Like, well, we, if he hasn't been there, why are we sending a letter? Right. But now it makes a little more sense. Yeah. So. Okay, so we have a letter from Eversource uh, to the Office of Town Clerk, Public Service Company. <coughs> uh, Eversource Energy is hereby requesting permission to install or replace poles located in the town of Ronaldsburg. Enclosed is your review to find three copies. Petition and poll license number 61-1464 for the town of Rollinsford to review. Um, upon approval, uh, please have each copy signed by proper authority. Obtain the one that says copy label for Rollinsford and mail the remaining signed copies along with any invoice for payment to public service and enclosed self addressed envelope. So they're replacing um, three polls and then licensing them. So, which is a good thing, so we know uh, could we assess them for taxation, the poles. Okay. Uh, utilities are assessed for the poles. Uh, they're on Howe Road. That's, they're being replaced. And how can we have to pay for them? We don't. We just have to approve it because they're not right away. Oh, because it mentions if you're having payment, you send it to them. So there's no payment, right? Not so well. We don't pay anything. No, we, so we're so just so giving permission that allowing them to, to replace the pole in our... In our um, Close for your review, find three copies of the polls and license petition for the numbers. Retain this uh, copy as they were wrong. Oh, yeah, this public service company of New Hampshire, also known as Eversource, is hereby requesting permission to install replace polls located in the town of Rollinsford 
and it gives us where it is for the right of way. That's all. We don't need, we we don't charge anything. Where is? I don't even see where you're. Keep on reading. Upon approval, please have each copy of the petition and poll license signed by the proper authority. And that's us. Retain the petition and poll license copy labeled wrong. Sort of mail the remaining signed copies along with any invoice for payment. Okay, so we don't have, we're not paying. Okay. So if, if, um, if, I don't know, say John Doe lives at, where was number, it was 92 1. Uh, Howe Road, which is the right of way, and on Howe Road, if John Doe or Jane Doe were requesting to have the polls put in, they would have to send a check in, and they have to send okay. in the permission of Rollins for to, because it's in our right of way. Okay. We own the property. They can't do anything in there. We don't. We don't have to pay them anything to do it. So if you see, the seventh day of August, uh, EverSource New England and Northern New England Telephone Operations also known as Consolidated Communications, will be hereby granted a license to erect and maintain poles and structures with wires, cables, conduits, and devices thereon, together with sustaining, strengthening, and protecting fixtures in the public ways covered by said petition. So, it's, it's all done by code, it says so. But it's not, it doesn't, we don't get charged anything for it, so. So, we just each need to sign it. She's never questioned it before, so. Okay. But if there's an issue, we can always ask her to come in and we'll sign them again in front of her. Okay. On an average, we are feeding 14 rounds of residents per day, 3,412 nutritious meals, and 1,104 safety checks and support services. So I think this is a campaign for funds. Um, a reminder of why we, we send them a, mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. the, whatever yeah, exactly. the check is we send them a um, So, um, want to leave it in the folder for budget season? Yeah, can you just put a sticker on the uh, room? Yeah. Um, There's 14, there was a 14 rounds of residents. 16 rounds of residents. On average, we are feeding 14 rounds of residents a day. And there's 14 people, and at least on average, that wouldn't be getting nutritious meals or um, they checked on. Yeah. And they're elderly people that get checked on. Exactly. I'm going to put it in. We need to follow up. Right. Request for disbursement, Suzanne, um, for her select board stipend of $2,800. Okay. Motion. Mm -hmm. For her what, six, seven months, whatever, seven months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the month? Oh, 2,800. Yeah, I'm happy. I, to. I didn't know. If they if so they did it, then yep. Yep. 
So we will go ahead and do it as well. He said they were going to notify you. Okay. We'll just wait until they notify us. That's fine. Well, that's up to you. I don't care. As long as they did it. Yes, they did. The Thursday has night. The same proposal, but the last week sure. they had not yet perfect. acted on it, so if they did it. Okay? You sign first. No. This is Dr. Terry Bennett's because we denied his. Yes, yeah, so Dr. Bennett has. Um, a, is a, a, I don't want to go into any great length about this, but so basically, um, Dr. Bennett is uh, through his um, the gentleman that he's hired, uh, Mr. Scott of Dover, are upset that they, their abatement was denied. Um, that he wasn't given any opportunity to negotiate an agreement uh, with the town or with Avatar. Our, we were represented by Avatar, by Chad Rover, who was awaiting information. Uh, this is, I've looked at this, it's still not complete, I guess. Information from the property owner that never came. Uh, the deadline has passed, um, come and gone, and the next step then for them, if they don't like the, the um, denial of abatement, is to go to the tax and land board. And that's what, when Mr. Um, the Latin, when he came in last week, and that's pretty much what, um, that's his next step too. I mean, there's no other, I mean, I think it's a little different. Um, Mr. Latin just wanted um, some information as to how, I guess it wasn't, he didn't think it was in the letter. Um, so if he gets the information he wants, he may not appeal, but the, he knows, though, at least that's his next step. Um, then that's also this applicant, um, that's his next step is he has to go to the tax and board, land and board appeal. So, um, but we can, um, we can certainly keep it in there. I know he's, he's upset that, um, He believes the fair market value of the property that he is selling is, um, um, is less than what um, we suggest his property is worth. It's uh, also I think important to note that he's asking quite a bit more for, uh, he's selling his property for quite a lot more than, or trying to, than what it's assessed for. So he wants to think the property is worth something. So. <laughs> That's for the tax and board, the land board appeal to determine, not me. Okay. All right. So, so we'll file it. File it. We file should, it. No, no, file no, it, no, no, file, file it like the garbage. Okay. We really do need to hold on. Wait. Okay. Um, hold on. Put this in there. It's fine. Um, the Department of Revenue Administration, there's a note here that Suzanne to review with CK. So I'm going to just put a note to Caroline that do we need to... Do we need a, do you need us on that? I don't know. Oh, this was the uh, the the, uh, the, um, the inventory and the, and the modified um, assessed value. I think it's. I thought they had they had done this, but I believe it. Um, yeah, as Carolina, I mean, I can just come in and sign it if it needs to be signed. Okay. If if, if the if we believe the um, the numbers are, are correct, we just have to go through and and double check that the DRA hasn't confused our little town with another little town. That's all. And they put the right numbers. This in. is part of that. If you, is it not? Um, No, this 
is, um, is this the one? Yes, it is. This does go along the way. It's all about the, um, the assess. This, so this is the, um, articulate this evening, I'm sorry. This is the um, the, um, the assessment that the, the state does on um, on our assessments. Um, they pick, I think, like six or seven random properties to make sure that um, um, they're actually accurate. So uh, it's signed off uh, by Lionel McEachern, who is our um, DRA um, Contact. He's sort of the person we work with at DRM. So, yeah. met standards. So the so that it did not meet standards or did meet standards, and we met standards. So, but yeah, we'll keep it together because they need to they need to stay together. So it needs to be signed off. And so if Caroline has reviewed the numbers, that's what Suzanne was concerned about. Okay. So. All right. Um, we approved that survey last week, right? Yep. Yeah, it just had to so, be taken out, I guess. Okay, maybe we should date it that we signed it. You did, you did okay. Yeah. And then I put 2K. Yeah. I'm going to put um, last week's date. Last week's. Six, so, yeah. yeah. So then she can take care of that. The, the, Dover, the Oak Street survey? Yeah. Well, the placing of the, the monuments. Did we do anything on the Shipyard Association last week? or what did, Oh, yeah, there. We did. There. Process. It was only hundred dollars, so I figured we could, I didn't have to worry about where to find that. But I hope that was before I found out about the insurance. So. The next time Brett comes knocking, we want to be a member of it. Yeah. We want to be a member of it, so it's only a hundred dollars. So. Uh, this is a taxpayer inventory. That's the one we said we're going to do away with. So, no to say we're going to do away with it? We don't need that. We're not aware of those. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, so. So, yeah. Passed on 813 to not do 2019 inventories, right? This is the same letter, so I can destroy it because we took it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fine. Thank you. And this is can be processed. This can be processed. So one side of the folder is is good to go, and the other one is hold or. This is items dinner. that need our follow up, oh, and then this is done to be processed. It's not ready for tonight. That's the um, the the budget. These were so. Just started to take a look and thought you might want to like to, to see as well. Expenses year to date is up to date, including the checks printed today. All right, well, I didn't see that note. I thought you said you hadn't gotten to it. So I'll take a look at this then. And we're not going to do it this week anyway, so um, if we're going to spend any more money, I think we need to figure out, reassess whether or not we're going to be able to extend the, uh, the um, um, administrative support. But again, in light of the insurance issue that was brought to light today. So we don't know what happened there? Um, my understanding is that it was not based on it was based on a uh, assumption that rates wouldn't change as much and they would find it in the budget even if they did. Um, so that's the what we're doing. Okay. So yeah, so it went from uh, 
So, all right, so the projected shortfall is actually $9,109. But, so the, um, the $3,000 that I had quoted earlier was, so Caroline had come up with a few scenarios where we could find 6000 right now mm -hmm. without having to affect other, without having to go to the police chief and the fire chief. Mm -hmm. And another 3000 might need to be found. Um, I wanted to review those numbers first, but here they are. I guess you did give them to me uh, for tonight. But uh, again, I'm not going to have time to digest any of this and talk about it in a meeting. I'm just looking at all the side notes. So I'd like to hold off until next week so we can actually have a chance to fully digest and do this uh, in a meaningful way. But yes, so it's a $9,100 problem. Was it, oh, well, we probably don't. Was it a change in, in plan? Or, okay. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. What's that? So, any, we don't have anything else on our side of the table? Community input. I have something related yes. to this. Yeah. I'm wondering if, with budget season coming up, and all the extra duties that Carolyn has to take over, uh -huh. shouldn't you be paying her now at least, and then if you don't have the money for the extra, cut it off in November, December. That's a good suggestion. Um, I have met with her, and at least for this week and maybe into next week, we might not need to do it, and we need to reassess with the increased duties. So that will come with budgeting. But she believes she's in an okay place right now. But we have talked about it. About, because I said we're not going to be ready for tonight. So, but thank you for the, for the suggestion and the input. Do you know if uh, there is something that's coming up very soon, and that's the revised, help me, the revised, um, the what? estimated um, revenue that has to, be, yep. has to be done? Who's going to do that? I am. Okay. I'm taking a, I'm, I'm, I signed up to do a webinar. Um, the end of the month. Perfect. So you can have it after that. You can have it after that. Because so, um, yeah. I don't have any idea about that side of it. So I am going to take a webinar. So yeah, that's one of the things we need to work on in the next uh, couple weeks. Is okay. Entering in the revised revenue estimates for the town. Yeah. That has to be put into the DRA portal. Correct. And it has to be done um, Is that what Suzanne sent us? By us. Is that what Suzanne sent us, those, the, the three emails? Was yes, that? That, that's okay. part, those are our sign-on stuff. Okay, all right. So the staff can prepare stuff like that um, from what I've, I've checked. Um, but by law, the actual, we have to, we have to actually push that. Okay. We have to push the go. The staff can actually, in any town, can enter the information in for the, for the assessors, the select board, mm -hmm. uh, but we actually the ones actually hit enter, which okay. is something I know, but, so I'm going to work on it and get it ready. Okay. Should be fun. The, um, spoiler alert, revenues are down, um, because of the, um, police details. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to work with Bob and see what his, um, his best guess is going to be. So, anyways, good times. Any other community input? Seeing none, I wish you all a good evening. It's about five, three minutes to eight.